In this video, we'll talk about Streptococcus pyogenes. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Streptococcus pyogenes belongs to the genus Streptococcus and it's a group A pathogen according to the Landfields classification system. Now, Streptococcus is responsible for strep throat. In a free living bacterial kingdom, you can see gram positive and gram negative bacteria based on gram staining classification. Under the gram positive bacteria, there are cocci and there are bacilli. Cocci are actually round and ball like shaped organisms, whereas bacilli are rod shaped. Among the cocci, there are several subtypes, and streptococci belongs to one of them. Streptococci me means there are a kind of like a lineup of small sphere like structures that can be clearly visible under the microscope. So you can see a chain of these balls under the microscope and they stain uh, positive for gram stain so they are violet in color. Streptococcus pyogenes is one of the most frequently encountered bacterial pathogen worldwide and there are several virulence factor in these bacteria which lead to all the complications. I'm going to break down all of these virulence factor and how they can affect our body in subsequent uh, slides. So first of all let's talk about the mode of transmission so first these particular bacteria can be generally infecting our body via the nasopharyngeal route and especially it affects the pharyngeal membrane so the the cells under the pharynx they are the one which gets affected and this lead to streptococcal pharyngitis or simply known as strep throat so the transmission occurs via re respiratory droplets or skin contact from an infect infected person. Now let me tell you that these bacteria survives best in the human mucosal membrane. So in the environment, they don't stay very well. So that's why they get transmitted from one human to another. That's what makes them infective. So let's talk about the clinical presentation. There are different degrees of clinical presentation. So one of the most common is strep throat. That means you have a sore throat, fever, a tonsillitis, and then uh, some kind of like, in extreme cases, there could be lymphadenopathy near your neck region. There is also impidigo. That means there is honey colored crusts and small vesicles around the uh, mouth area. There is scarlet fever which, which in, includes erythematous rash, strawberry tongue, and sandpaper-like rashes to be very specific. Now, this particular bacteria can actually go to the systemic circulation and lead to many other complications. For example, fasciitis, cellulitis, that means acute inflammation of the subcutaneous tissue, and in extreme cases, myonecrosis, that means death of the muscle cells. Now let's talk about the structure of the bacteria to appreciate its function and its pathogenicity. So this is how uh, overall streptococcus look like. We are looking at one unit of that streptococci uh, strip. So here you can see it's kind of like a round shaped bacteria with a capsule on the external most side. Then there is cell walls, plasma membrane, and most importantly, there is a protein known as M protein, which is important for virulence. There are lipotelchoic acid and invasins are very common in these bacteria. Invasins like streptolysins, streptokinases, proteases are responsible for the pathogenicity. Also exotoxins are key aspect of understanding the pathology of streptococcus pyogenes. So let's talk about the cell wall first. Cell wall contains number of clinically important components and uh, they, then the most important thing is fimbria. So fimbria is embedded into the cell wall. It has M protein and the N-terminal variable region. So uh, streptococcus pyogenes is actually surrounded by a wide number of this kind of uh, fimbria. So it's kind of like a fringe of fimbria. The fimbria contains S protein, which is a virulence factor and the M protein, which is another one. So M protein is highly variable, especially in the N-terminal region shown here. And that's, that leads to different kind of uh, antigenic response for these bacteria. So let's talk about other uh, stuff on the membrane. So there is group A specific C carbohydrate, and it is composed of uh, a complex polysaccharide, which is uh, ramnosand N-acetylglucosamine, 
all group a streptococci uh, are by definition contains this particular antigen remember the classification that we talked about in the beginning of the video then we talk about the protein f or fibronectin binding protein it allows the attachment of the bacteria to a membrane for example the pharyngeal epithelial membrane so that is why pharyngitis is very common in case of this particular bacterial infection let's talk about all the toxins first we'll talk about the pyrogenic exotoxin this leads to this le leads or promotes uh, neutrophil to degranulate and it can cause various effects including rash uh, as seen in scarlet fever and streptococcal toxic shock syndrome is also associated with this then there is streptolysin o and streptolysin s both of these damage mammalian cell and it result in lysis of the lysosomal enzymes and allow its release so one of the cell type that is affected by these enzymes these toxins are neutrophils then there is streptokinase that kind of catalyzes the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin this got uh, th this leads to the uh, lysis of clots and facilitate the rapid spread of this organism also it blocks the complement system by blocking the c5a peptidase so basically the complement system is broken down so bacteria can evade the first line of defense also it has hyaluronidase which can break the hyaluronic acid chains thereby it can remodel the extracellular uh, space and it would allow the rapid spread of this organism then there is uh, strepto dnas so these dnas uh, degrade the uh, various part of the genome so basically it allows basically the rapid spread of the vi uh, bacteria inside the host body the complications include rheumatic fever which is basically a uh, similar to an autoimmune condition with severe joint pain and then there is uh, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis all these complications are not found in every patient but this is also case specific patient specific so which lead to uh, nef uh, nephritis and overall kidney related problems as this is a bacterial infection it can be treated with antibiotics choice of antibiotics include penicillin and amoxicillin if the person is in, uh, allergic to penicillin then there are other antibiotics which can be possibly used so then uh, basically other treatment option includes replenishing the body fluid and electrolyte sometimes iv drip of the fluids can be used uh, useful as well okay get notes and flashcards in our uh, facebook page and instagram links are provided in the description you can support our channel using paypal paytm or upi see you in next video